Hello guys, my name is Sam. I'm going to do series of tutorials on Pro ATC and um, I'm going to show you how Pro ATC X works. I'm going to use the two, um, Pro ATC X 1.8.7.9. This is the latest version of uh, Pro ATC. I'm going to use it on Prepare 3D V4, which is installed on my system. It's a 64-bit uh, flight simulator and um, uh, well for the flight plan I'm going to have jet airways flight it's going to fly from one city to another city I'm going to do a domestic flight for this tutorial it's going to be from Mumbai to Delhi and uh, for this well we'll have I already have it I like I have Mumbai already as my departure city so Mumbai is uh, the city of departure we are going to go Delhi so I'm going to type in Delhi and uh, departure is going to be tomorrow um, right now if you see it's already evening here in India so uh, it's 7 sorry it's uh, 5 30 in the evening here in India so we are going to do um, a morning flight and i'm going to select the date of tomorrow that's 19th of december 2017 for this flight and i'm going to search for flights on jetairways.com website as you know we are doing a flight which is real real and uh, for this we are going to select the flight which is already operating every day from mumbai to delhi jet airways is using 737-800 uh, Boeing aircraft for domestic flights so for this we are going to do a morning flight that's 7 o'clock in the morning it reaches Delhi by 9 o'clock 9.5 we are interested in this it's a flight number it's a flight ID this is a flight that we are going to have it in our flight plan so let's I just selected that flight and I have clicked on Control C, copy. I am going to go into Pro ATC. I already have launched Pro ATC for you. As you can see, this is a Pro ATC window. It looks like this. Here you have it Pro ATC X 1.8.7.9. This is the latest version of Pro ATC that I have on my system. I'm not going to go into all the options which are here. If you want to go into the detail, of how Pro ATC works and what are the folders, what are the options, what is moving map, etc. Um, etc. Et uh, you can you can definitely go to Pro ATC uh, tutorial website or tutorial channel on YouTube and there you can um, you know learn all those options. I'm not going to go into this uh, all those stuff. I'm going to go into flight plan and i'm going to select a new flight plan for this tutorial as you can see i already have a default aircraft listed that is 737-800 and uh, jet airways is all already there in the airline listed menu if it's not there you have to select from here you go by country select here india and you have all the aircrafts that are flying in india I'm going to type in chat and it shows chat airways. I'm going to select chat airways. I'm going to click OK. Now, as you remember, we selected the flight number from chat airways website. So I'm going to paste it here 9W301. Now, there is a space between 9W and 301. You do not want that. Just have it in one line 9W301. It's going to be the flight number for chat airways flight, which is going to take off from Mumbai at 7 o'clock in the morning. Departure airport definitely we want departure airport to be Mumbai and now I know the ICA code for Mumbai if you do not uh, Know the ICA co ICO code for Mumbai you can type in here Mumbai or Say it's going to be Chhatrapati Shivaji Okay Okay uh, Right so in city you type in Mumbai and you get the um, first international airport that's going to be it's going to be Chhatrapati Shivaji International Airport I don't uh, go by this I have the ICAO code for Mumbai that is VABB and I'm going to select it and click on select right here it's a um, here it's listed Chhatrapati Shivaji International Airport 
now parking is always terminal it's an uh, boeing it's not a chartered aircraft so definitely the parking has to be terminal you have the options of cargo center none uh, ramp if it's listed there it's going to be there uh, i'm not going to um, go into the details i'll select terminal from here now uh, if you know where jet airways are parked uh, for to a certain gate you can select it from the list if you do not know it as uh, i do not know it i'll select gate a1 which is a medium gate for uh, this tutorial now i know this that air india uses uh, the alpha gates that's a a gates uh, a1 a2 a3 a4 and so on these gates are used by air india i don't know which gate uh, jet air is uh, usually parked at uh, I'm not going to the details. I'll just select uh, gate A1. That's a medium gate. It's required. A uh, medium gate is required for Boeing 737-800 because it's a medium kind of a um, jet. Uh, so I'll select a medium gate for it. Alternate. It's an alternate airport for uh, the departure airport. Now, usually you do not need to, but uh, I'll select in this case. I'll select uh, the first alternate airport which is very near to the departure airport here it says pune so i'll select pune from here i'll click on save and okay so i want to select it from primal list here i'll select pune uh, vapo is the icao code definitely pune i'll select it save now destination airport this is where we want our destination airport has to be delhi now i know the icao code for Mum delhi as well excuse me V I D P is the I C A O code for Delhi International Airport or Indira Gandhi International Airport. We'll select this, click on select, and we have a straight route right now. It's a very straight line route. Um, parking is going to be terminal again, and here I'm going to say auto because I want Pro A T C X to give me the available gate when i land my aircraft right so i'll just keep it to auto if you know a certain terminal you can select it from here you can select it from the list available i'll just keep auto now my primary alternate airport is going to be agra which is very near to delhi so viag is the alternate uh, ICAO code for agra uh, if you want to find that you can click on select and you have it here primary alternate airport viag which is agra is a 30 kilometer minimum distance and maximum of 100 kilometers so it finds an airport which is uh, in this distance um, and also uh, it also finds an airport which is uh, which has a very good runway to land Boeing 737-800 also it has an ILS frequency required it's an ILS frequency which is required to navigate or have a radio contact to land at a certain airport right so I click on Agra save now excuse me uh, that's my phone right so my uh, date as you know it's going to be 19th of december 2017 that's going to be tomorrow my flight is going to fly at seven o'clock so i'm going to enter seven zero zero it's going to be morning flight seven o'clock in the morning now cruising altitude this is very important flight level 370 is a default flight level when you have a aircraft like 737-800 and you fly to a certain um, airports um, default flight level is 370 which is kept there um, i'll not uh, i'll prefer not to change these values i'll go with whatever pro atc has given me now going forward there are two options to create our flight plan one is clicking here which gives you a calculates a route for you another option is here where it calculates a route for you from this button you click it here or you click it here it doesn't matter it's going to calculate your route anyways 
I'm going to click here. Right. There you go. There you have it. This is your route or this is your route which is going to take you from Chhatrapati Shivaji International Airport all the way to Indira Gandhi International Airport. Now if you see here you will find that these these are going to be the waypoints which are going to come in between your departure airport and your arrival airport. These are going to be your waypoints and these are going to be your airways. Now what are waypoints, what are airways, I'm not going to go into those details. If you are interested, um, give me a shout. I'll uh, post a link to the tutorials which actually shows or actually tells you what are airways and what are waypoints. So basically, these these are the uh, what you can say when you want to reach a destination. These are the stops or the waypoints, which are called waypoints in between. Right? That's it. That's it. That's our route from Mumbai to Delhi, and this route is going to be there. This route is what we are going to enter in our flight simulator, or when we when we are seated in the cockpit right here i'm going to say save as you can see our flight plan is right up there right up there it's going to be there 19th of december 2017 7 o'clock in the morning vabb that's chhatrapati shivaji international airport as our departure airport we are going vidp that's Indira Gandhi International Airport. 654 is the distance. Shared Airways is the airline. 9W301 is our flight ID. 37,000 feet is our cruising altitude. And the aircraft that we are using is a Boeing 737-800. Right, guys? So, this is the first of the many tutorials that are going to follow. The second tutorial, we are going to go one step further. We are going to take this route and we are going to insert this route into our simulator. Okay. Till then guys, this is Sam signing off. Thank you.